To open idle, the program we use to write Python code, we need to go to the Windows menu and find idle. Now yours might say three point something else, but as long as it starts Python 3, that's the one we want. If we open it, we get this screen, it looks pretty much like a text editor, like Notepad, but there's a few lines of code and then there's this prompt. Now this is not what we want. We want to create a file where we can save our work, write multiple lines of code, go back and change them. We can't do that on this particular screen. So what we do is we go File, New File, and you'll notice now the screen is blank. So if I go File, Save As, and I'm going to type Hello World. This is the name of my first program and click Save. If you get a pop-up box saying anything about problems with saving on the network, just press Yes. Right, now we're going to start writing our first Turtle Graphics program in Python 3. The first thing we need to do is to import a library. What that basically means is we need access to a whole lot of commands that are, allow, that are going to allow us to create artwork through code. So we type this. Oops. From turtle, import, asterisk. The asterisk just means all. So I've gone to the library, I've grabbed the book called turtle, and now I've got the magic commands to create artwork. One of those commands is forward. How far do I want to go forward? Let's say I want to go forward 400 steps. Now I want to turn right and I'm going to turn 45 degrees. So the forward and backward are the number of steps. The right and left are the number of angles. So if I take another forward, this time go 350 steps and let's go left 90 degrees and let's try backward 500. Now it's not really going to create too much of a shape here but to run our code we just press Control S on our keyboard to save or we'll go up here to file save then either press run run module, or you'll notice the keyboard shortcut here, F5. If I make it bigger, you can see I've got the beginnings of a basic shape. Now the number of steps I did for my last backward one, 500, is actually too much for the screen. So what I need to do is maybe change it. Maybe I'm going to go back and change it from 100, 500 sorry, to Oops, um, 150. If I save that, press F5 to run it again. Let's make it full screen. You can see I've got the beginnings of a shape. 